Hi everyone, I'm Sigrid and today we're gonna learn some Norwegian phrases with four music. It's my favorite game, so let's go. Og hva er plingebollen? There's not really, I, this is probably gonna be for all the words, there's not really great English translations to this, but it means being, I guess, bonkers, crazy. It's like to be pling, I guess like, it's like kind of like a sound, just like pling in your head, in your bolle, which is like, I don't know, I don't know, maybe it's like, kind of like a round shape, that's why they call it bolle, I think so, yeah, it means being crazy. Or vad är mitt i smörja? That's where I like to be. It's like to be in the middle of everything, and I think the, the being in the middle of the thing, but like directly translated, is like to be in the middle of the uh, butter eye. <laughs> I have the butter, but it's like where everything happens. Um, I think this is like an old expression. Maybe my parents would know the better translation, but it's like, yeah, be where it happens or uh, yeah, having like a great time. I think I might get this wrong. <laughs> what? I have no idea what this expression means but in english it would be to be born behind a brown cheese but the funny fact about this this is really weird i don't know if this is like planned or not but um where i was born in olesund in norway um it's like 30 meters behind the junior high school that i went to i don't know what, secondary school i guess you call it in, in english um and uh, we used to call it the brown cheese brunost because the school was like had a weird like yellow brownish tone to it so yeah this was strange i guess i i am born behind uh, brown cheese in many ways <laughs> have you smoked your socks interesting choice to do um but i think this means like is it like an old-fashioned way of saying hi ah or sit there with uh, it's like to stand or sit with your beard in the like the post box you can call it that mailbox i don't know what you call it in english like outside your house it means like oh, now you're stuck it stuck with it like uh you got yourself in a sticky situation i have a hörna och plocka mig något igen it means i have I have a chicken to pick with someone and yeah, very aggressive. Then you know someone's angry. It means that you have unfinished business with someone. But as in the like, uh, yeah, there's someone who's done done you wrong and you have to let them know. Oh, how bad in That means to have bone in your nose. And it's a way of saying that I guess that's kind of a good expression in English as well, I think. But it's, you know, just being tough. Like you, uh, yeah, same as like having like a, a, a spine, back spine. Yeah. Um, yeah. You are true to your values and you're strong and tough. What's valgen och en kamela? Swallow a few camels. Very tough. And that's the whole meaning of it too. Like sometimes you have to compromise. You have to compromise and swallow a few camels. Ah, and glorlax, a happy salmon. Sometimes I'm a happy salmon. And it's just someone who's super happy. I don't know if it's meant in a negative way. I think it is like a positive thing. Just happy. Over even to be in the wind. And this, I guess it's like kind of the same as like surf the wave or no, actually not. Surf the wave is like when you actually like follow something. Um, like follow some sort of success or something. This is like another way of saying like, you are uh, like cool right now or like you're doing it, you're doing great right now. It's like, I think it's used, especially in now in Norway, it's like uh, when someone is like talked about a lot, like very, um, yeah, I don't know about in the media and stuff, like doing well. Ah! All my life, I thought that this in English, which is like, makes, do someone a bare favor. Um, I thought it meant actually doing someone a good favor, like you're doing someone a favor, like you did like a big favor because it's a bear, it's a bear favor. 
But my parents told me like, you've said it wrong your whole life. Uh, they stopped me one day like, that's wrong. It's like doing someone a big favor. You think it's a big favor, but actually you're doing them like a dis, disfavor, disservice. Like, um, it's not really a favor. Yeah.